The Bright Sign app is a great tool that allows you to quickly and easily update content and interact with your local Bright Sign digital sign from your iPhone or iPad. This video will teach you how to create signage presentations in BrightAuthor that work seamlessly with the BrightSign app. There are so many industries and applications that can benefit from the BrightSign app, but for this tutorial we will focus on a restaurant menu board application. We will cover the following topics. Setting up our BrightSign unit network. Presentation elements that are compatible with the BrightSign app. Setting the BrightSign app look to a custom UI. Creating and adding user variables to our presentation. Creating UDP controls to trigger events. And controlling our sign using the BrightSign app. So let's get started. In order for your BrightSign unit to communicate with the BrightSign app, your BrightSign unit must be set up correctly. It's important to note that your iPhone or iPad running the BrightSign app must be on the same subnet as your BrightSign unit for the BrightSign unit to be detected and connected. To set up your BrightSign unit for networking, within BrightAuthor select Tools, Set up BrightSign unit. The most important settings required are to check both the Enable Diagnostic Web Server and Enable Local Web Server boxes. These two settings will allow the BrightSign app to interact with your BrightSign presentation. If you do not see the Enable Local Web Server option, you'll need to enable local networking by going to Edit, Preferences, the Networking tab, and checking the box for Enable BrightSign Local Networking. Now back to the BrightSign unit setup. In the Advanced Network Setup section, you'll need to set the appropriate wired or wireless settings for your network. When these settings are complete, select Create Setup Files and save them to a blank SD card. Insert it into your networked XD or HD unit and power the unit up to apply the settings. The BrightSign app automatically detects and interacts with two elements in BrightSign presentations, user variables and UDP commands. User variables are added to presentations as live text elements. These are typically used for controlling menu items, descriptions, and pricing. UDP commands are interactive triggers between content or display states. They can perform things such as changing an image displayed, switching the presentation plane from a breakfast menu to a lunch menu, and synchronizing a presentation across multiple screens for video wall menu boards. It's up to you to determine what elements you want to change in your menu when you design your presentation. Once we've decided on what text we would like to update in our presentation using the BrightSign app, we will start by adding these items as user variables in the BrightAuthor project file. To do this, we'll go to Presentation Properties and select the Variables tab. But first, while we're here, let's cover the device web page display settings. This determines how the user interface displays on the BrightSign app. Selecting a standard device web page is the default. If we have created a custom look for our BrightSign app user interface, we would select the Custom Device Web Page option and locate the HTML file that contains our custom design. Now getting back to adding user variables. We simply select Add Variable and enter in each variable by providing a descriptive name for the variable, the default value that will display on screen, and the type of variable it is. It's important that we make the variable name descriptive and unique, as this is the name we'll see when adding it to our presentation and later within the BrightSign app. Once we've created all our user variables for our presentation, the next step is to add them to our presentation. To do this, we'll make sure our playlist is set to be interactive. We'll drag the live text object into our zone, and this will automatically open up its settings. We will call this our Wine menu, and then select a background image. To add a user variable, we'll place it in the desired location on the display, select the type as user variable, and choose from the list of user variables we created earlier. Notice that when we add a user variable item, the preview window shows it as a field with the number 32. This is simply an indication that the field is a user variable. Once we publish and run the presentation, the default text we entered earlier for this variable will be displayed. We can also set the text parameters for each user variable item. There are settings for font type, size, color, and even rotation which is used in this presentation since it's a portrait layout. 
Now we can continue to add the rest of our user variables and select OK when done. Our wine menu is complete. However, we are going to add another live text object to this zone for an alternate dinner menu using the same procedure. Here's what our dinner menu will look like. Now that we have two different live text menus built to run in this presentation, let's add a UDP control that will allow us to switch between the two menus. To do this, simply click on the UDP event from the events icon at the top of the screen, and then click and drag from the bottom of the wine menu to the top of the dinner menu. The UDP event dialog will display, and we add in the name of the UDP event. This is the name which will display on a button control within the BrightSign app, so we need to use a descriptive name. For this example, we will name it Dinner, because this UDP event will trigger the presentation to display the dinner menu. We can also add another UDP event to return to the Wine menu and name it Wine. Now we have a finished presentation that includes a Wine menu and a Dinner menu, each containing user variables, and we have two UDP commands to switch from one menu to the other. Now we can publish our presentation, run it on our networked BrightSign unit, and interact with it using the BrightSign app. Here's what our presentation looks like running on the display. The BrightSign app automatically detects our BrightSign unit, and when we select it, the app downloads the user variables and UDP commands from its presentation. We can see the user variables here and the UDP commands here. To update a user variable, we edit any of the items listed under the user variables and submit them to instantly update the presentation. We can also change from the wine menu to the dinner menu by selecting the dinner UDP command button here, and the screen will make the change. As you can see, this is a powerful approach to presentation creation. With careful planning, you can create a highly flexible presentation that you can control and change on the fly. For more detailed information on how to set up and use the BrightSign app, please watch the BrightSign app tutorial video.